I'm Dr. Chuck Munyon, and I'm the Director of Functional and Restorative Neurosurgery at Temple University Hospital. Temple University Hospital is currently a level four epilepsy center. This is the highest level of designation and demonstrates that Temple has the multidisciplinary expertise needed to evaluate and treat patients with epilepsy. Choosing the most appropriate treatment option for a given patient with epilepsy really depends on figuring out, first of all, what kind of seizures that patient is having and where in the brain they are coming from. Many patients, for example, have a generalized epilepsy disorder. This is a problem that is spread throughout the brain and has to do with the electrical activity of the individual brain cells themselves. These disorders are treated with medications and the kinds of medications that we have available continue to improve as time goes by. Here at Temple, we offer a very minimally invasive technique called stereoelectroencephalography, or SEEG, which allows us to place multiple very fine wires deep within the brain to study the circuitry underlying epilepsy and to very precisely pinpoint where seizures are coming from. This allows us to then determine whether we can offer a patient removal of the area causing their seizures or whether we need to consider electrical stimulation as a means of suppressing their seizure activity. There are really two types of electrical stimulation that are frequently used to treat seizures. The first one is called vagus nerve stimulation and it does not involve any surgery upon the brain. The vagus nerve is a large nerve that runs through the neck but that travels directly from the brain and carries inputs directly back to the brain. By putting a small set of wires around the nerve connected to a small pacemaker in the chest, we can uh, help calm down the areas of the brain that are overexcitable in seizure disorders. The other therapy that is available currently is something called responsive neural stimulation. And this involves placing a wire within the brain itself in order to detect seizure activity and send out a set of electrical signals that are designed to stop the seizure from progressing to other areas of the brain. A third area of current research interest is using deep brain stimulation, a therapy often used for movement disorders, to also treat epilepsy. When we are able, using our surgical or stimulation techniques, to offer someone a cure to their epilepsy, the results in their quality of life can be dramatic.